But time here at Port Wainimi, uh, our technicians have gained a lot of knowledge, our operators have gained a lot of knowledge, uh, and we're gonna take that knowledge forward uh, in our deployment later this year and be better prepared uh, to operate the ship systems and uh, defend against any threats we encounter. The engineers and technicians coming on board uh, have, a, have a much deeper understanding than most of my sailors on the systems. In the Port Wainimi, we're getting much more specialized technical support comparing to any other base. That's why Port Wainimi is kind of unique in this perspective. Uh, they've definitely taught me some things that uh, no one else has been able to show me. Um, some operation capabilities, um, some capabilities of the gear that uh, I didn't know about before. Um, so while we're out at sea, I've definitely gained a lot of knowledge here that uh, I, I didn't necessarily know before. The support we've been receiving from Port Wainimi Division personnel is material readiness for our underways and uh, preparation for in-serve. Uh, so this is my third time uh, here in Port Wainimi. Uh, every time has been an awesome experience. The ship is just a ship uh, without the weapon system. So it's truly what makes us a warship. It's what enables us to do our job. Uh, and we also build a lot of self-sufficiency with our sailors. Again, learning from the technical experts all the way from the ISEA uh, to folks who are just here assisting uh, on the deck plates uh, so we can be more self-sufficient uh, as we would need to be if we were called to uh, go forward and fight. We've got an opportunity to find uh, some discrepancies in our SSDS. We were able to get our, our 49, our air research radar, repaired uh, without having to cash wrap it because the tech is already here. I wish that uh, we had done this before we went to Valley and Shield because uh, then we would have you know, been better trained. Um, we would have found some of the things that, that, that would have head off some of the issues that we ran into while we're underway. Yeah, the arrival was awesome to stand here on the bridge wing and see about 50 to 70 people just come right on the ship right away and say they're going to start work, and they did. It's been fantastic. I, I love coming here to make this visit. I've done it in the past, and all I wanted to do is get the ship here, and it took us some time, but I'm glad we did it. Yeah, we pulled in day one, we've got 50 guys walking on board, standing on the flight deck, and you know, it's really a, a breath of fresh air to, to have them all coming on board and you know, knowing that they're here to help. One of the biggest uh, benefits that we've been encountered here is uh, for my logisticians and being able to identify uh, what parts we can use and, and what to order for any of these uh, legacy and new systems uh, that we have on board. And so being able to pull in here prior to our deployment uh, gives us an, uh, the advantage of getting technical hands-on training from the subject matter experts who work on these systems every day. That is the biggest value that I think we'll take forward uh, going on this deployment for my guys. And so we're, we're really happy to be here and uh, it just gives us a, a lot more readiness going into our mission. It's been fantastic. I, I love coming here to make this visit. I've done it in the past. And all I wanted to do is get the ship here and it took us some time, but I'm glad we did it. An absolutely tremendous job by the team here at Fort Wainimi. Uh, could not have done any of this without us. Thank you for keeping us in the fight. The team has been fantastic, and uh, thank you so much for having us. Looking forward to our next visit for Wainimi.